to the BBC. Uh, their diversity czar, June Sarpong, it turns out, uh, we learn now, is being paid £267 a year. So 267 no, a bit more than that. £267,000 a year uh, for a three-day week. Uh, that would make her higher paid than the Director General Timmy, Tim Davey if he did uh, a three-day week. If, he, if she did a five-day week, she'd be on more than the boss himself. Uh, let's talk about uh, what I'm going to have no hesitation in classifying as utter financial insanity to uh, the Conservative MP for Ipswich, Tom Hunt. Good evening, Tom. Good evening. Uh, Good. They take our money, the BBC. Uh, 159 quid a year, uh, and they share it out amongst themselves, don't they? £267,000 a year to be the diversity chief for the BBC. The BBC says diversity is terribly important, so important that the person they put in charge of it is a part-timer. What on earth is going on at the state broadcaster? Um, well, it's, it's sort of two, 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 two quarter of a million pounds a year for three days, three days' work. Um, I mean that that's that sort of dwarfs the prime minister's uh, salary. Um, you, you, you'd think you'd you know you maybe uh, I mean it'd be it would be pretty eye opening and surprising enough if that was a sort of director general salary. Never mind part time director of diversity. Yeah. No, it's it's it's, it's, it's extraordinary. And, you know, and we were. I mean, I, I I'm on record for saying that you know I think that the license fee should go. You know, that's my my position. But when when the new director general Tim Davy started i i i, I hope that he, he'd sort of take the bbc in a different direction and would regain my trust and the trust of many of my constituents who have come to the same conclusion but sadly um there is um a pattern of behavior that seems to be becoming clear that i don't think they they are going in a different direction at all i think this is more of a say more of an out of touch bbc um, misusing taxpayers' money. I think the BBC has turned itself into a kind of feudal aristocratic system. You know, in the feudal times, the medieval times, uh, the robber barons used to tax the peasants to hell, uh, let them farm the land and then take a load of money off us. Now, uh, the robber barons work for the BBC, take our money and divide it between themselves. This uh, revelation about June Sarpong's uh, grotesque, obscene salary uh, comes just two weeks after the BBC boasted how well it was tackling uh, the celebrity sal salary system and it had cut back because Gary Lineker had taken a 300 grand cut on his one and a half million salary uh, very, and um, Zoe Ball was getting a few grand less uh, than the million she used to earn for playing pop records on Radio 2. So they're boasting about how they're cutting back. By the way, they never told us about how, how much people earn on Strictly Come Dancing because they said that's part of BBC Enterprises. So that's private enterprise and has got nothing to do with us. I don't know how they quantify that. But now, on the back of that, where they say, oh, look how... Uh, how uh, austere and careful we're being with money. It's revealed that June Sarpong gets two hundred and sixty-seven grand a year for a three-day week. Uh, how and, is and, how is that being careful with money? And, and also, can I? I mean, I'd love to know what this diversity role actually involves. You know, it'd be one thing if this, you know, if this, if this diversity, if by promotion of diversity we mean all types of diversity, and by that I don't just mean. Um, you know, uh, making sure that there's ethnic diversity, but I also mean regional diversity. I also mean making sure that some of the accents we hear on national BBC aren't all the same ones, and actually maybe having some diversity of thought. There, I say it, yeah. and having some having some lead presenters who may not necessarily sing of the same same hymn sheet when it comes to a lot of the woke stuff we've seen promoted over the last few years. Look, if it was actually that kind of proper diversity and an all-encompassing diversity, then, OK, we'd still be angry about the money spent on the salary. But, you know, if they were smashing the job and doing doing a great, great things, then maybe we might find it easier to bear. But I'm pretty sure that's not what's going to happen. You know, when I'm, you know, I it is interesting with, with Tim Davey because... I mean, just recently, I mean, actually, myself and a few other con um, Conservative MPs wrote to him about um, the decision that was made, the censorious decision that was made by the BBC leadership to take a series of vintage comedies off the iPlayer platform, uh, one of which was Little Britain. That was removed from the iPlayer platform. And I wrote a letter with some colleagues to Tim Davey explaining, asking for a rationale for why this was. And in fact, if he was so determined to win over my confidence about the BBC, maybe he could, you know, prove that by, say, I don't know, putting the B Little Britain back on the BBC iPlayer. 
He of course, and in response, he wasn't prepared to do this at all. You know, the BBC, yeah, he, he's got absolutely, you know, and I, and I think this is this is a, a, another example of the BBC, uh, you know, casting a value judgment on what it's okay or not okay to find funny. And if you find Little Britain in comedies like that funny, then there's something intrinsically wrong with you. So actually, the fact for Little Britain involved all of us laughing at each other. Every single person and group in society was taking the pee out of in that mm. in that in that comedy. Every single person, young white men, black men, gay, straight. Whatever we were, we all had the Mickey taken out of us. It was British humour. It was hilarious, uh, and you find it funny. I find it funny. But you know what? The director of the general thinks there's something wrong with us for finding it funny, and he's gonna he's gonna use our taxpayers' money to cast a value judgment on me and you. That's a centrist decision. So not only are they wasting money, not only are they wasting taxpayers' money, but they are also uh, incredibly politically biased. They promote their own worldview. They do not reflect the, the, the views of the diverse country of which we are, diverse and fought and diverse in many other ways. Um, I, and I think, sadly, you know, and I, I don't take it lightly to come out and say that I want to get, you know, I want to get rid of a license fee for BBC. I, I didn't say it lightly. You know, I was romantically, like many others, romantically attached to the history of the BBC, its role, you know, in its, its foreign service and some of its local productions as well but sadly i i think it's 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 it, it's gone too far i think it's it's um elements of it are very badly rotten uh, and i i think that we have to look to a future that at the very least moves beyond the license fee uh, if not if not looks beyond the bbc full stop yeah I, i'm with you tom I, you know i i'm not for uh the disintegration of the G bbc i would hate to see the bbc go i just say you're a fantastic broadcaster you're full of talented people make programs that people want to watch and and get income for them get advertising in you know go private uh because we don't want to give you the money anymore and as you quite rightly say tom some of the way they've been behaving lately uh, or actually for fair for a long time now they don't deserve our money uh and uh, frankly net Netflix and Amazon Prime and Disney Plus are a better service. Uh, but uh, to go back to the diversity issue, uh, here's another question. So the, the BBC says that diversity is so important, and uh, it announced this a few months ago, that, that it's going to be spending 100, or is in the process of spending 100 million pounds on instigating uh, its diversity drive uh, it, because it says diversity is crucially important. If diversity is so crucially important, why is the person at the BBC in charge of it only a part timer? Well, <clears throat> well, I mean, presumably because they're so wonderfully talented, we, we couldn't possibly pay <laughs> enough money to secure their, their services full time. I've seen Jean Maybe. Sarpong on t TV. I don't think she falls into that category. Right, I, I suspect you may be right. Um, but, but but what I but I, what I would what I would say though is it's you know they're pro diversity, but they're pro diversity when it suits them. You know, then by by pro diversity, it doesn't seem to me that they're pro genuinely different views being expressed. Uh, uh, you know, or, or or pro diversity of opinion to the extent that you might actually be pro free speech. Uh, I think they're pro uh, their version of diversity, and when it suits them. Uh, not an all com all encompassing uh, version of diversity that I understand it to be. Look, I mean, obviously, we want to see, you know, we, we're, it's a national broadcaster. We want to see them outreach. We want to make sure that every community in this country is represented on our or, or through a BBC. Of course, we want that, but we want every group, and we want diversity of thought as well. And we don't want part timers to be paid a quarter of a million pounds for a privilege. Um, got, it, actually, it, I've got to stop you there. Tom. Don't, don't, it's not. It's two hundred and sixty-seven. Uh, thousand pounds, so it's seventeen thousand more, more than a quarter of a million. <laughs> more than a quarter of a million. More than a quarter of a million. Um, but but you know maybe maybe this might be a catalyst for a dramatic transformation, and maybe in three months' time we might hear all sorts of different views coming from the BBC. We might hear people who are you know pro Brexit and don't necessarily think Brexit is a disaster. <laughs> that would be the day. <laughs> we, we might be, we might be having people say actually no. You know, as a BBC employee, I think we should put Little Britain back on the iPlayer platform. We might, we might hear all of this stuff, but you know what? I, I, I don't think it's likely. I think this is a, a huge waste of taxpayers' money. I think it's more evidence that under the current Director General, the BBC hasn't learned its lessons, and sadly, is drifting further and further away from a growing number of, of the public. And, and I, and I, and I'm very concerned about where this might end. Uh, and by, by that, I mean, you know. It, you know, we hope the BBC is salvageable. Of course, we do. 
Um, but I don't know if it is. I really don't know if it is. I think Tom Day, uh, Tim Tim Davy. I think uh, just call him Tom Daly there. Uh, Tim Davy. I think started uh, encouragingly, but uh, uh, is now I think falling short of what uh, we had well, hoped for him. I remember. I mean, I remember. You know, because I, I, you know, I, I sort of. Um, I do think you know concerns of the BBC has gone from being like a bit of a minority issue to being a more a, a more and more mainstream issue raised by many of my constituents very very often. But I, I remember because I, I did a poll, I polled my constituents, uh, and you know there was a, def- a majority for, for getting getting rid of the license fee, uh, and also anger at um, you know the sort of um, pensioners having to pay 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 for it now. And 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 I and I and I said you know I I agree. I actually I think we should get rid of the license fee as well. And then a few weeks later, Tim Davy was. <clears throat> appointed uh, and one of the first things he did was <clears throat> insist that you know last night of the problems does play uh britannia uh, and, and i thought well actually maybe i shot my gun too early maybe um yeah maybe maybe i'm gonna uh, maybe i'm gonna look like a bit i've acted a bit prematurely and tim davy might sort the situation out but then obviously you know since then it's just i mean i i, I don't underestimate i don't underestimate the difficulty of his job by the way I mean, I think I think if if me and you were installed at the BBC as Director General and Chairman of the Trust, I I think we'd have a work cut out. And I don't honestly know whether me and you would be able to sort yeah. out sort out the BBC because it's, it employs thousands of people, and the da- it, the damage goes very deep. And I, I don't think we'd be able to sort it out. So um, I agree. It's, yeah, it's it's become a sort of monolithic super tanker uh, that they cannot change course in midstream. I mean, I agree with you. Uh, but uh, really interesting discussion there, uh, Tim, and uh, hopefully you can come on again, Tom, very soon. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Tom Hunt, uh, Conservative MP for Ipswich. I'm Kevin O'Sullivan, and this is Talk Radio.